The trolley problem. The trolley problem. The trolley problem. In the trolley problem, whether or not a driverless car is going to save the driver or run over a group of school children crossing the road. Will the car go right and hit the old lady, or will it go left and kill the, the four young people? Either kill five people standing on the bus stop or kill yourself. It's an ethical decision that has to be made in the moment, too fast for any person to get in there. And so it's the software in your self-driving car is going to make that kind of ethical decision. Who decides that? Smart society, society that values human life, should make a decision that killing one person is preferable to killing five people. Because it does raise the question, who's going to buy that car? All countries, whether they admit it or not, are going to develop lethal autonomous weapons. And is that really a capability that we want in the hands of a corporate nation state? We only get one chance to get it right. You screw up, everything possibly is lost. But if we do create artificial general intelligence, can we maintain control? This AI will become the product of its parents in the same way that you are and I am. Let's ask who those parents are. Chances are they're either going to be military parents or they're going to be business parents. If they're business parents, they're asking the AI to become something that can make a lot of money. Military parents are going to teach it to kill them. The reality is, if Facebook or Google wanted to start an army, they would have technologically superior capabilities than any other nation on the planet. Every single major advance in human technology has always been weaponized. And the idea of weaponized AI, uh, I think, is terrifying.